who lives in a pineapple under the sea, SpongeBob Pony Pants. Hey guys, it's Amanda Panda, and you heard that right, SpongeBob Pony Pants. Today, we are going to be transforming Applejack into SpongeBob SquarePants. This is gonna be such a fun transformation, so let's get the pony all prepped. I'm starting off by using a little bit of acetone to remove the original cutie mark and the eyelashes and then I'm gonna remove the head by twisting it firmly to the side until it pops right out now I'm going to be rerouting this pony with bright yellow hair so I'm gonna just cut off um, the bulk of the original hair and then go in with some teeny tiny scissors to cut the hair all the way down to the scalp now this part is super important because the shorter the hair is the easier it's going to be to pull out the roots now to get to the roots you're going to have to cut out or pull out that neck plug so i very carefully used my exacto knife made a bunch of little teeny tiny cuts around the bottom and then just pulled that neck plug right out reaching in there with my pliers and i'm going to pull out all of those hair roots and glue now you could use tweezers for this if you don't have pliers the head is bald ready to be transformed into spongebob let's finish with the body now i'm gonna real quickly take my pliers and reattach the neck plug before i lose it i want to just keep them together so they don't get lost and then i'm going to cut this tail as short as i possibly can and I'm going to push the rest of the tail directly inside of the pony's body just using the tip of my scissors just like that so it's ready for a new tail later on let's get started with the transformation for the body, I'm going to be using this nail polish by Color Club called Almost Famous. It's a gorgeous shade of sunny yellow, perfect for Spongebob. And if you follow my channel, you might recognize this nail polish. It's the same one I used for my Pikachu pony. So I'm just going to kind of mount that head at the tip of my pliers and then cover the entire head with two layers of yellow nail polish. And I'm just going to carefully outline the eyes. I like to save the general shape and placement of them. It makes it easier for me when I go in and paint the new ones. So let's get two layers on and let it completely dry. Once that nail polish has dried, you can go in and start working on SpongeBob's eyes. I'm switching over to acrylic paint because I prefer acrylic paint for the eyes. I'm gonna put down two, maybe three layers of white, making a really big circular eye just like SpongeBob's, using a bright aqua blue for his actual eye going in with some black for the pupil and then outline the eye and give him eyelashes and that part i'm gonna do off camera because it's really hard to do that fine detail work when i'm recording so let's move on to spongebob spots i'm gonna be using this nail polish from kb shimmer called honey dew list it's the closest color i had to that kind of really dirty army green that spongebob has all over his body and then just paint spots in random areas on his head. I'm gonna put it on his forehead, under his chin, on the back of his head, and behind his ears. that's all the painting for the head now i'm gonna seal it with a layer of clear nail polish so all of my work gets locked in put that aside let it completely dry and once it has it is time for spongebob's hair i picked out this really pretty bright yellow shade called yellow fever from dollyhair.com i've cut the hair into pretty small strands these are one eighth of the original length and i'm going to be using my rerouting tool from dollyhair.com it's a pronged needle you can see that 
there's like a little tiny area right in between both of those prongs and that's where I'm going to very gently catch that piece of hair. You see it's caught right in the middle there. I'm gonna pick up the head, decide which hole I want that hair plug to go in, press in and just like that, that hair plug anchors itself on the inside. And you're just gonna repeat this process over and over again until SpongeBob has a full head of hair. Now with SpongeBob, you don't have to reroot him, you could always give him hair with clay or you could have even kept Applejack's original hair. It's yellow, it's just a really, really light shade of yellow. So once all the hair is in, you're going to need to secure it. I'm going to be using my hot glue gun and I'm just going to squeeze a real generous amount of hot glue directly inside of the head. Once the hot glue cools and hardens, that hair will be completely secured in the head and it is not going to budge. And then I'm just going to trim SpongeBob's hair really short and kind of give him a mohawk like most of the boy ponies from My Little Ponies. The head is all done. Let's start working on SpongeBob's body. Again, using that same yellow nail polish from Color Club, I'm going to cover the body with two coats. But I'm just going to paint the legs and the chest area. I'm not going to bother painting the body because that's where he's gonna have his shirt and his little shorts the yellow nail polish has completely dried and I've used a little bit of nail striping tape to map out where I want SpongeBob sleeves to end and I'm gonna go in with some white nail polish and I'm gonna go around that nail striping tape first and while the nail polish is still wet, I'm gonna remove the tape and it should leave me with a really nice, crisp, straight line. So let's take this off and see what it looks like. Oh yeah, that came out perfect. Now I'm just gonna go in and paint in the rest of his shirt. I'm gonna paint the rest of the leg here. And then when it comes to the chest area, I'm actually gonna be putting the white in a V shape because I wanna go in and give SpongeBob like a collared shirt later on when this polish has completely dried. I'm using nail polish for this custom because it's just my preferred medium but I know a lot of you guys don't like it. You could always use acrylic paint. You never have to use nail polish. Most of the stuff that I'm doing here can be done using acrylic paint. So I have put down a little bit more nail striping tape to map out SpongeBob's adorable little socks. And just using the same process as the shirt, going to very carefully remove that nail striping tape while the polish is still wet if you wait until it's dried you're gonna end up peeling off all of your paint job so that looks really good and again with the nail striping tape just mapped out the area for spongebob shorts and i'm going in with this dark chocolate brown nail polish and painting in his shorts and this looks so cool i can already see it coming together i'm gonna let all of this nail polish dry and then we'll go in with all of the fine details so i'm gonna be using sugru for this custom i've used it in tons of videos before it is air dry rubber but you don't have to use it you could use air dry clay or you could even just paint on the details that I'm about to put on with the Sugru. I just kind of like that 3D look that Sugru gives it. I warmed it up in my hands and I kind of just smushed it out into this long piece and I'm gonna place it around the neck and this is gonna become his collar. So I'm gonna put that in place and then use my fingers to smoothen it and flatten it out. Now obviously that collar is way too wide so I'm gonna be using this tool from my air dry clay tool set 
and I'm gonna cut off and shape the excess sugru and the sugru really just kind of glides off of the nail polish when it's still wet but once it hardens it will completely secure itself onto the pony you don't have to worry about gluing the pieces back on or anything like that so let's get this collar all shaped out that looks so good now it's time for spongebob's adorable little tie i have this little piece that looks like a triangle i'm putting it right in between the collar there gonna kind of flatten it out with my finger and then going in with a longer piece for the actual tie and then i'll use my tool again to shape out the bottom v of the tie now I have a lot of extra sugru, so I'm going to go ahead and make Spongebob's belt 3D using really small pieces as the belt here. I'm just going to put them all around the waist and then thin them out with my little tool. And this part's completely optional, you could just paint on the belt if you want to, but I didn't want to waste all of that sugru. Now I'm using a bunch of sugru here for Spongebob shoes. There is this really big piece, kind of looks like Pac-Man, and I'm just going to wrap that around the bottom of the foot. Now the shoes look super funky, I know, but once it dries, I'm gonna go in and reshape those shoes a little bit more. So I'm using an X-Acto knife now because it's a lot sharper. And I'm going to shape those shoes, thin them out, and make them look a lot more like SpongeBob's. And I did have some extra sugru, so I'm gonna use it to give SpongeBob his two little teeth on his head. Now I'm switching back over to acrylic paint, and I'm gonna give SpongeBob the blue and red stripes on his socks so all the sugru is completely dried I'm just gonna finish up all of the painting and spongebob is coming out so awesome i'm gonna use that same red from the socks to paint spongebob's tie and then i'll clean my brush off and switch over to black acrylic paint to paint in the belt and the shoes. Now, Spongebob's a character I would have never imagined as a pony, but I was reading through all of my comments and there were actually several suggestions to make a Spongebob pony. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna have to definitely try that out. So I kind of sketched it out and I was like, I'm gonna do this. So here it is. I hope that he comes out really cool. So far, he looks really really good you guys have to see his mohawk in a second it's adorable so let me finish getting all of this paint on and then once everything has completely dried i'm gonna seal the pony with a layer of clear nail polish and i do this because it seals all of my work in and if you play with the pony it shouldn't flake off or anything like that once that clear top coat has completely dried spongebob can get his tail i'm using some gorilla glue here and i'm going to squeeze it directly inside of the pony's tail hole and then i'm going to grab this bunch of hair that i have very very firmly twist tied together and I'm going to put that into the tail hole and then use my nail dotting tool to push that tail into the body. And once that Gorilla Glue sets, it is gonna expand and secure that tail from the inside. And the tail's gonna be a little bit too long, so I'm just gonna trim it with my scissors. And the absolute last step is gonna be to apply a little bit of Gorilla Glue around the neck plug and reattach the head to the body. So that's it for this custom. Let's take a look at the completed pony. Here is Sponge 
Bob Squarepants as a pony. I'm gonna name him SpongeBob Pony Pants. He is so cool. Check out that mohawk. His little teeth are just so adorable. I love the way that he came out. I hope that you have enjoyed this tutorial and if you use it to make your own SpongeBob pony, I would love to see how yours came out. So send me a picture on Facebook or Instagram. And if you have a suggestion for my next custom, let me know down in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching Little Pandas. Until next time, bye! You can follow me online to get the latest news and updates, like my Facebook page, facebook.com backslash Mandapanda Toy Collector, or follow me on Instagram at Mandapanda Toy Collector. Want to mail me something? Guess what? You can mail it to Mandapanda P.O. Box 2855 Humble, Texas 77347.